Ten Commandments of Being Mexican. Number one, thou shalt eat tortillas and frijoles with every meal, even on Thanksgiving, because you know your damn turkey could always use a little bit of salsa. Yeah. Number two, always respect your nana abuela abuelita. Keep Always respect your nana abuela abuelita because you know she'll beat your ass, cabrón, even if she's under five feet tall. Number three. Never let anyone make fun of your shoes just because you got them at the swap meet. They don't understand that churros, kettle corn, bargains are good deals. A random guy selling his chickens is a cool place to spend your Friday and Saturday nights. <laughs> Number four, follow the path of no white man because we are our own race and we are our own people and this is our revolution. And the only thing the minority becomes the majority is closer than we think. And no ignorant, unfair, inhumane no! Five, look in your mother's eyes and swear to her that you will make it in this world and you will make something of yourself. And every damn burrito she rolled, every damn back where she served, every damn restaurant she worked in, every damn insult spit in her face by bosses who abused the fact that she had no papers, every damn trailer park, Word. every damn sleepless night counting numbers that will never make ends meet, making sure we had the damn tortilla on our stomachs will not go to waste. Because that one third thing in my stomach has become a fire. And I will redeem myself, Mom. I will redeem myself and every sacrifice you made for us will not go to waste. Number six, don't forget where you, where you came from. Whether you're Dominguez, Garcia, Lopez, Montaño, Escalantes, Vasquez, Moreno, Cruz, Martinez, or any other name, don't forget where you came from. Word. Number seven, French is not the language of love. <laughs> lo siento por los que nunca van a saber lo caliente que es el lenguaje español. <laughs> Numero ocho. Can you hear the sweat drip? Dripping pulls the generations into the dirt. Back rain in the hot desert sun like we never existed. The eighth commandment is the sound of his knees dropping to the ground. Jagged pebbles of the American dream stabbing into his knees. Lost somewhere between Rio Rico and the family praying to a Virgen de Guadalupe to protect them from the green monsters, the God, the land of opportunity. Not knowing that God is no longer the only one that can judge us once here in the land of America. Word. Number nine. Don't let them take away years of blood, sweat, and tears. Books, classrooms, racial discrimination, what's next? Will history repeat itself? I dare you to try to burn through this callous skin. The harder it gets, the harder we work. You say we're worthless and we take your jobs? Do you know what hard work your Mexican hands taste like? Try not to choke on your tomato. Oh! <laughs> always remember that no matter how much soap you use, you'll always be brown. What?